In this problem, we have the complete combustion of 15.0 centimeter cubed of a gaseous hydrocarbon X produces 60.0 centimeters cubed of carbon dioxide gas and 75.0 centimeters cubed of water vapor. What is the molecular formula of X? And know that it tells us all volumes are measured at the same temperature and pressure. So I'm going to think about this problem first it's given to be a combustion problem. So if it's given to be combustion, we're going to have some hydrocarbon. So it, our hydrocarbon, they're calling it X, but I'll go ahead and say it's going to be, it's going to have carbon and hydrogen in it. We don't know what those subscripts are yet because we don't know what that hydrocarbon is, but because it's just a hydrocarbon, it's not going to have any oxygen in it. It just has carbon and hydrogen. And in combustion, that means that it's going to react with O2 to produce CO2 and H2O. So how do we use this information about combustion and our volumes of our um, compounds? Well, since each of our compounds are gaseous, our, our hydrocarbon excuse me, our hydrocarbon is a gas, carbon dioxide is a gas, and our water vapor is a gas. So since all of these volumes are measured at the same temperature and pressure, that means if we assume that all of these gases are going to be ideal gases, which I think we can assume that, then that means their volumetric ratios are going to be equal to their molar ratios. So what that means is if we have 15 cubic centimeters of our hydrocarbon, that produces 60 cubic centimeters of our carbon dioxide and 75 cubic centimeters of water vapor, we can reduce those ratios 15 to 60 to 75. If we divide all of these, these are all evenly divisible by 15. So if we divide them all by 15, we get 1 to 4 to 5 because 15 divided by 15 is 1, 60 divided by 15 is 4, and 75 divided by 15 is 5. So that gives us our molar ratios in our balanced reaction. That means we're going to have to have a 1 in front of the hydrocarbon, we're going to have a 4 in front of the carbon dioxide, and a 5 in front of our water. So, how does this help us find the molecular formula of X? Well, since in the products the only place that carbon appears is in CO2, and we have four carbons in that CO2, that means we're going to have to have four carbons from the left side. And since carbons only come from our hydrocarbon, we can put a four coefficient because we have a four, excuse me, we have a one uh, we can put a 4, excuse me, for the subscript because we have a 1 coefficient and we need 4 in total. Similarly, we only have hydrogen coming from one place in the products. We have 10 hydrogens because 5 times 2 is 10, so we're going to need 10 hydrogens on the reactant side as well. Since the coefficient is a 1, we're going to need a 10 subscript, so that makes our answer would have to be C4H10. So I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. <coughs> Excuse me. And also if you have any other problems that you would like to see a similar video worked out, um, send me those either in the comments or to my email that's lo listed in the description below, and I'll do my best to make a video for you. Thanks for watching.